Well, how y'all are this afternoon? It's your buddy George Jones over at the Bergen Gun Range with my next installment on eight. I finally got around to do an unboxing video. <clears throat> so, I've had several people say, well, you ought to do an unboxing video. You ought to unbox a gun on camera for the first time. And you ought to, you, you know, do an unboxing video like they do these unboxing videos on all kinds of stuff. Stuff from Sportsman's Guide and, you know, crap like that. And I thought, you know, that didn't make any real sense to me. I just want to see what's in it. I don't want to see what the box looks like. So, Ed and the guys down at Apache and, and some of my subscribers and different people over the last year said, y'all do an unboxing video. So I finally broke down and said, look, I did some work for Apache Armaments, some actual physical labor for them and, I, and, and, and a job. And, and part of my salary for that deal was to receive a new gun. The new gun being the Ruger American in 22 Magnum. So when I went out and picked it up the other day, I told him, I said, get the factory box, put it in the factory box with all the stuff that's supposed to be in there. Make sure the serial number is the same as it is on the box as it is on the gun, and then I'll do the form 4473 off of the box. Having never seen what was in the box, I'm going to do an unboxing video. Yielding to the pressure. So here we go. This is the Ruger box. It comes in there. It's mine. And it's American. Uh, attention to dealers and purchasers. Important notice. Originally, the factory box includes content. Was perfect condition and strong enough to ensure delivery and safety. This box is used for reshipment of the original Convalab GB. Ruger notice you tell me of all that stuff and then it's got the no it don't have it there. I guess it does. It has the information on the end of the box, which is serial number blah 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 catalog number A M E R R F caliber twenty two W M RF, I reckon that means 22 Magnum. And then Ruger American Rifle 22 WMR. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, so there we go. That's the box. That's taped, so we got to get out there and get some tape. Take that tape off there. I'm going to get that off there. Unboxing video. I always thought them were silly myself but here we go we're doing it now so we might as well get it over with oh, there. Oh, there. open that up and there yeah that's right okay there it is so let's see what do we got here we got ruger joined the nra get an nra 50 caliber ink pen okay Thank you for choosing your Ruger firearm. I guess that's a little thank you note. The manual for the Ruger American bolt action rifle. It seems to be yep, well in hand for a manual. Uh, a thing telling me that I can send a uh, flat top or a bearcat back and have transfer bar put in it which I actually know where there's one of those at that doesn't have the transfer bar in it and we don't have any intention of getting it redone for the simple reason that they're quite collectible now let's see what we got here visit shopruger.com grips bipods boots condoms holostators underwear I don't know, whatever it is. Wow. Ruger Axe. <laughs> All right, let's see what else is in here. Oh, look, we got the uh, high comb replacement cheek piece. We got Sweat B that I think I can get him if. Come on! Sweat bee driving me crazy. 
uh, the high cheek piece. That's pretty cool. I'm gonna put a scope on this rifle, so we're probably gonna have to have it. All right, and then we get down to the meat of the issue, the old gun. The old box out of the way for the old gun. The Ruger American with no bolts in it, okay? Uh, looks pretty nice, actually. I guess. Where would you find the bolts at? Apparently, you would find the bolts in this box. That'd be a good place to put a bolt. There's also a big lock in there, too. I don't know anybody who uses them. Things. They used to have them cool master style padlocks that come with these guns, but I reckon they got too expensive to put them in there. Get a bolt in this guy and take a look at the gun. I think it goes in there just like that. Look at that. So it's a yeah, changeable, pretty good looking old rifle to stay true. Uh, fire safe selects on here on the tang where it ought to be. Uh, bolt release appears to be right here, and we just. Uh, Right here on the side, so we can, I guess, push in on that. Yeah, bolt comes right out. Okay. Um, standard rear sight, like you'd find on a 1022. Uh, this one has a very bright fiber optic sight on the front of it. It has a target crown in the muzzle. Is equipped with Uncle Mike sling swivel posts. Has a um, Savage style safety actuator and a trigger, and uh, like that, it's, it's a pretty good looking rifle. Got a tab and a 1022 style magazine, just a little bigger, with a tab release on it there. So the next part of this would be. Shoot them. So uh, let's shoot them. Let's find something to shoot them. Let's try some Aguila 40 grain high velocity stuff here. Aguila 22 Magnum 40 grain semi jacketed semi uh, semi insiscadito, whatever that means. And the velocity and ballistics information is covered up by the store tag on the back, like it always is. I'm still buying me a case of these, so I don't have to put up there. All right, let's see about getting this old magazine out of here. See if it actually holds 10. Apparently it was 1. 2. The easier way to do this is dump them out right there. Come here, you. Make things pretty easy to load. I've been wanting one of these guys for a while. And uh, the old 65M Savage. Uh, the way the scope... Well, the scope bevels were made on the top of it to mount the scope. You couldn't mount a scope on it. I tried every way in the world. You know, and you just... Apparently, it only holds nine. All right, let's get us some ear mufflers on and try this thing. I've got a shoot and see down there at 15 yards. We're going to just try it right here. Okay. I'm going to try it right here just like he is. First shots on it here. Let's see how it actually shoot it takes. No, we're going to do this with this block. I don't want to know how it actually shoots, not how I shoot it. All right.
it's just a wee bit to the to the right. Or I shot it a wee bit to the right. Let's see. Get on. Yeah. A rifle of this type will have a break-in period. There's no getting out of it. Yeah. Kind of consistent here. All righty. That's the first nine shots out of the old Ruger American in 22 Magnum. Let's go down here and look at our accurate accuracy. <clears throat> first time this gun's ever been fired outside of a proof range. Well, that was nine. That was nine. So, there's one, two, three, four. And the remaining five make this figure eight shaped clover leaf right there. So at 15 yards, you know, that's not a real tight group at 15 yards. But you got to bear in mind, the first shot's out of the rifle. So I'll probably shoot this guy, I don't know, a couple 300 times before I'll call it burnished in or broke in or ready to take on a hunt but uh, it's a pretty good old rifle right there uh, pretty consistent you know barrel isn't burnished in anywhere near burnished in yet anywhere near being broke in but uh, the Ruger American and 22 Magnum uh, yeah yeah, this is worth the money. This gun is somewhere around three hundred and twenty-nine dollars to three hundred and forty-nine or fifty-nine at retail, depending on where you buy it. Uh, I was going to get a different rifle, but uh, one of the other employees sent the Ruger American out on a uh, sent the Ruger American that I was supposed to receive out. They sold it, did a form forty-four seventy-three out of something, sold it. So they had to order me a new gun to complete the deal that they had with me. And this is a brand new gun. Of course, that other one was a brand new gun too, but you know, the one that was earmarked for me at the time wound up being sold by another employee. So I wound up with another brand new gun. Nine rounds, that kind of accuracy, I can look for that accuracy in group over time to improve as the rifle becomes a little bit better broke in and I settle on the brand make model caliber and or brand make model and bullet design and so forth and get it settled in doped into one particular cartridge uh, then all of these things will start to tie in a little bit better uh, well that's about the size of it for the old Ruger uh, brand new Ruger American 22 Magnum rifle unboxing and uh, bench demonstration uh, like take share pie commentate and subscribe you know leave me old dollar in the patreon bucket on the way out the door that'd be great if you don't I'll keep right on making content for you all right then we'll see y'all